One of the most damaging dating myths that hurt you if you're a woman today is the false notion that you need to seduce men or sexually connect with them if you want them to pursue you and eventually commit. And the fact that so many men lead with sex only helps to cement this lie. But what if putting out before the relationship reaches a certain stage makes it dramatically less likely that you'll make it with a guy? In this video, I'll reveal seven ways you can invite deep desire and commitment from worthy men without needing to have sex before you're ready. The root of the word arousal is to awaken and to stir into action. So my invitation to you as you watch this video is that you invest in emotional arousal before you invest in sexual arousal. And here's why. Because he will value you more when a guy is heart and soul connected to you, it's going to be far less likely to lose interest after he has sex and less likely to ghost you, less likely to stop pursuing you once he gets his win. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to happen that way all the time. But if you want to give yourself the best possible chances, create a container for yourself that allows you to reduce the risk. And that container is you've built a solid friendship with this guy. You're starting to build a solid friendship with him. You understand who he is. There's compatibility taking place. There's shared values. He's shown up again and again to be a worthy guy who you can trust. And you are now in an exclusive relationship. That's the minimum container that I recommend allowing that full body expression to take place. Now, the first trait that will allow you to inspire deep desire and commitment in guys without having to have sex with them is your unique expression of aliveness, which means how alive do you feel inside and how freely do you let that life force that creates the specificity of who you are show up in your daily life, in the way you connect with people, in the way you engage eye to eye, in the way you walk, in the way you breathe, in your smile, in your actions. And it's not something you do for a guy. It's not something you do to attract men. It just so happens that when you're fully connected to your life force and you're generous in expressing it, that men will find you far more compelling. If you learn nothing in this video but this, I think it will serve you. And that is that men primarily want one thing when they connect with you. They want to feel more alive. The more alive you feel inside, and that doesn't just mean happiness, that means expressiveness, the more likely you are to attract him without having to lower your standards for connection. The second trait that allows a guy to connect with you deeply without you having to put out is your degree of empathy and emotional openness. Here's the sad truth. Most men move around in life carrying a lot of shame, not just a lot of shame, but a lack of ability to express that shame emotionally. Why? Because it's considered wrong, because it's considered weak, because they were never taught to do this. So you have pressure cookers in many men walking around feeling unworthy of themselves. So when you have the capacity to empathize with them, that doesn't mean you accept what they say. That doesn't mean you approve of what they're saying or doing. But you take a route that's a little more nuanced than just punching the guy and saying, you're wrong. It's like, I understand where you're coming from. When you have the capacity to develop empathy with a man and he gets a chance to feel seen and understood by you, that's something that's so rare, so rarely happens that you will stand out head and shoulders above all women. Number three is your confident embodiment of self. And what I mean by that is you understand your greatness and you understand your flaws. But what happens is that so many women right now are so connected to the flaws that they bring to the table, to the extra ounce or the extra pound or the extra two pounds they want to lose. They're more connected to the extra wrinkle on their face or something that happened in the past that they should have done differently. When you show up and you primarily are carrying in your heart the burden of your pain without recognizing the fruit of what that's done in your life, the character building elements of the pain you've suffered through and you don't become generous with yourself. And instead of looking at your amazing curvature, you're looking at the flaws in you, then you're not showing up confident. That doesn't mean you think you're better than guys or better than anyone else. It just means that you are connected to truth and truth means you have something available and amazing and invaluable to offer. And when you're expressing that in a conversation, when you're expressing that in connection with guys, guys can feel that for a mile away. The fourth is going to be your invitational expression of needs. What does that mean? 
That means that you have A, the ability to understand your feelings. When you understand your feelings, then from feelings come needs. If you feel a certain way, then as a result of that feeling, you might develop a need. Like you feel disrespected. Well, what's the need that you have? You feel the need for respect. If you don't understand your feelings, you can't really express that. Now, the way you express those needs matters. If you're able to express your needs in clear, specific terms to a guy, the guy, if he's a worthy guy, he's going to be a lot more likely to step into doing something about it than if you don't express what you want. Now, for you to be able to express your needs, you're going to need to be vulnerable because it's a vulnerable thing to do. I'm not saying you should do this with anyone, but if you're getting to know a guy and you're unable to express your needs, there's that part of him that activates, that wants to add value to your life, that wants to make your life slightly better, that wants to feel good about himself by doing that, is not going to be activated and then he'll feel less need to connect with you. Now, before I share my last three points, which are really important for you to grasp, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not fully understanding the root cause while you're still single. What I've done is I've taken 10 years helping women to attract their ideal life partner in every walk of life with every kind of love challenge you can imagine. And I've put together a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. You'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions, then in 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the elusive question why you're still single, and a custom report is going to share based on your specific blind spot. The number one thing you can do starting today to reverse the trend you've been on and attract your ideal life partner in a fraction of the time. Fifth trait that can allow you to inspire desire and commitment without having to have sex with a guy is going to be the clarity of your values. Why? The clearer you understand what you value most, the more able you are to express that to him and the more he can sense if you're compatible or not. No one is looking for perfect compatibility. Guys are looking to connect with someone, commit to someone, pursue someone that shares values with them. If you're not able to express your values because you don't know them, because you're too shy, because you want to be fiercely independent, then it's going to be far less likely to move the ball forward. So when you understand your values, you also understand your boundaries. When you understand your boundaries, you can give the guy a clear path to move through. And he can say, yes, I can do this or no, I can do that. But if he can, he will, and he can only do that if you're able to express it. The sixth trait that allows you to create the connection you want without having to resort to having sex with him early on is going to be your emotional range. Emotional range means that you have the capacity to not just be pigeonholed into one form of being too serious or too funny or too playful. You can be playful and you can be serious. You can be expressive and you can be stern. When you have more of a range, that range does a lot to beat into someone's heart, I'm talking a man, and allow him to feel different from you than he feels with other women. Why? Because it's very common when you first start dating someone that people show a specific part of who they are and not a little bit more because they want to either impress someone or they don't want to rock the boat or they don't want to be rejected. But when your range is being expressed, he understands what he has in front of him. He understands your value. He understands how to pursue you. The last step that allows you to attract the guy you want, to attract the sire without having to put out is going to be the generous expression of admiration. And what I mean by that is we men are more insecure than we pretend to be. This is something you can't fake. You either feel admiration towards a guy or you don't. For you to admire a guy, you have to know him. For you to admire a guy, you've had to maybe have tested him in positive ways. For you to admire a guy, you have to go through some experiences with him and understand his reaction, understand the way he deals with challenge. So when you've taken the time to get to know someone, which is why I'm asking you to wait, what happens? You can genuinely feel either admiration for him or not. If you do, giving him the directive communication that you feel admiration for him in some way will also do a lot to help you be the one he chooses. Now, what I'm coming to this is this, choose to be different, choose to stand out, choose to say, if the guy thinks it's too difficult for him to do it because I'm waiting, allow him to be the filtering mechanism through which he selfless qualifies from connecting with you and your heart. Choose for the right reasons to make it harder for him, not because you're playing hard to get, but because you know that there's value in him earning the connection that he's about to experience. Hope this is helpful and useful. And if it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel because this is how I can help more women grow and create the relationships they want if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want, 
we have the need for gimmicks, manipulation games or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.